what's going on what's going on what is going on no like honestly what is going on before i start this video i just want to say i hope that everyone is safe i hope everyone is practicing social distancing i hope that everyone who decides to fish goes out and keeps everyone else around them at least rods length apart so please do that please keep in mind that these times are very unprecedented and very unsafe you never know what's gonna happen so just do your best to stay safe and follow rules that's it so a lot of you a lot a lot a lot <laughs> and I mean a lot of you have shown love towards my soft shrimp video I've received hate as well but for for the most part I received love um, tons of you have been awed by the fact that you could take shrimp and turn it into something that's like very salted and you could basically use it and it's nice and tough so it doesn't come off the hook because shrimp is necessarily a bait that is expensive you don't want to be wasting it i received a lot of comments that there were some issues i had with the recording with um just the way i treated the shrimp <laughs> some dudes actually mentioned that i put one shrimp back into the freezer it's like I was gonna eat one shrimp, but nah, I just like being conservative sometimes, you know, you never know. Because I thought back then I'd be doing a comparison video to regular shrimp and salt shrimp. The reason why I'm back with another video today, I want to try to repeat the entire process in 4K, in better quality, in not wasting anything, in being resourceful. But this time, we're using squid. So, let's get into it. So essentially, these are the things that you're going to need in order to salt your bait properly. Um, I'm going with the squid today. I bought it from the supermarket fresh and it wasn't, the skin was removed from it, which necessarily doesn't really make a difference. First thing that I do is that I open it up and I make sure that the outside surface is as dry as possible so that I'm able to take out as much moisture as I can without, um, basically damaging the salt so that I could reuse it as many times as I want to because this stuff is reusable. This is sea salt that I picked up from my local grocery market. So this came really cheap, it was $1.99. It's, you want the coarse sea salt. The fine sea salt will work just as well. In the previous video, I was told that iodized sea salt may not work as well um, because apparently fish taste iodine and they don't like the taste of iodine. So it was a heated debate in the last video. So if you guys could go down there and just start a debate again, I like seeing things like that because it helps me understand more about fishing as well. I'm no expert. So yeah, this is just something that I picked up at the Chinese market nearby. And the last things that you're gonna need is a knife just to chop it up into the pieces that you want. And a container, the container, this container is just a Chinese takeout soup container but you could basically use any kind of container that you want, just as long as it's able to hold the salt and it could be refrigerated. So let's get into the process of making this. All right guys, I have my squid here. I like to prepare my squid in two different ways. I like to do strips and I like to do big pieces for the bigger fish. So the strips allow me to put it on a high low rig. If you haven't watched a video, um, I've actually posted a video on how to do a high low rig I'll leave the link uh, somewhere up here. Uh, so we're just gonna cut strips of this. So for that, I'm gonna start by just chopping it down the middle like so. And then <clears throat> I'm just gonna go vertical and I'm just gonna cut strips like so. And as I mentioned in my earlier video, it doesn't really matter what kind of fish you are using for this. I've seen people pickle things like shad, I've seen people pickle things like bunker, I've seen people pickle things like clam. It doesn't really matter what you're using just as long as you're able to salt the bait because that's the main objective here. So I'll leave the strips like this. You could cut them a little bit shorter if you want to. And then for this, I'm going to chop this into thirds. This is basically gonna allow me to put it on the hook for bigger fish just like that so now that we have our squid prepared we're gonna need to put salt into this container but there's one thing that I forgot to mention in the previous video that's pretty important if you are using big pieces like this they're gonna take 
a lot more time to draw like draw moisture whereas things like these they really won't take as long because they're a lot they have a lot less surface area so to accommodate for that these will be going in towards the middle and these will be going in more towards the top what that what i realized with my previous video was when i put shrimp into this bucket what ended up happening is the ones that were at the bottom got pretty smushed and that you don't want that you want your squid to maintain its volume somehow and shape with losing all its moisture so i'm going to so i'm going to cut open my bag of salt and i'm just going to pour some in here Another reason why people love using squid is because it's nice and smelly. Like, I could smell it right now. It's not very pleasant. Um, it allows you to actually, you know, like, get sent into the water so that fish are drawn towards it. So we're just going to cover that. I think we'll do two strips. Just like so. Get them nice and covered. Third strip. Now we could put in our tiny pieces. Let's give it a couple taps to make sure everything's nice and covered. All right, so now we're just gonna cover it, make it nice and tight. You don't want any air going inside this. One thing I didn't do in the previous video is that once you're done, once you cap it off, you're going to want to refrigerate it. What refrigerating it allows you to do is you're basically gonna be able to keep the cold temperature within it because if it gets too warm, it's not gonna properly function the way you want it to, the squid's gonna get a little bit more softer than it should be. So always refrigerate it. All right, so that's basically it. Um, you put the squid in for two days, you let it sit in there, you let the moisture draw out, and within two days, you can check it and bag it. I'll be posting a video soon about an update towards that. So until then, if you like this video, if I did a lot better job with this one than the previous one, feel free to let me know and leave any suggestions down below, cause Clearly, I'm not the best YouTuber, but I'm trying out here for you guys. So until then, take care, subscribe, and stay safe.